Hey guys, it's Nikki from Still Moments Nursery. We're just going to do Atlas's box packing for her trip home. Atlas is a 17 inch uh, baby. She is the twin A by Bonnie Brown. Um, she has got a belly plate that comes with the kit so she's going to go home with uh, the belly plate. She's got gorgeous brown hair and her mum requested that she have a little part to one side so we've done that uh, for her. Uh, she's going to go home dressed in this gorgeous little grow suit that I found. It's got little love hearts on it so I thought that would be nice uh, to send her home in. She's got lots of other goodies that she's going home with, so we'll go through what she's going home with and then we can pack her in her box. So to start off with, she's got her painted belly plate, so her mum can display her uh, with her little belly sticking out. She's got a little pair of pink Premi socks. They're so tiny, which is really cute. She's also got a little pair of mittens to keep her little hands warm. She's going home with a Winnie the Pooh bib. So I thought a nice yellow would be a nice colour to match up. And then she's got a tiny pair of little leggings and they've got little ruffles on the back, which I thought is adorable. And then she's got a little onesie under, under sort of suit as well. She's got little flowers on it and a little blue trim. And then she's got a nice, sort of like a pastel green grow suit as well. So that's all of her clothing that she's going home with. And I'll wrap that up in some nice teddy bear paper that I found for her. So I'll do that in a minute. She's also got a little rattle or a little teething ring that she's gonna go home with. So it's just made out of nice soft wood with a few little beads on it. So that's something that she can display with her baby. And she's got a little dummy chain as well. Uh, her her mum actually didn't choose a dummy, but I'm actually going to give her a nice display dummy. I found these gorgeous pink and purple one I thought would be nice to go with her. And I'll just pop that into a little drawstring bag. Being silicon, it's a little bit sticky. Still very cute. She's gonna go home with both of those. And then she's got a little gorgeous little purple flowered uh, headband. And she's also got a couple of little clip-on hair accessories as well. So I thought a nice pink and a yellow to match her bib would be nice. I'm going to pop those into a little bag so they don't get lost as well. Because they're so tiny. And then she's got a little love heart charm and just a little puffy yellow um, emblem that she can sew onto a piece of clothing. And of course, a little friendship bracelet that I add in with my dolls just as a little gift for the mum. And then she's got her little powder wafer just to make her nursery or her clothing smell nice and baby fresh. I don't actually put these in the doll because I don't like the moisture um, inside the doll. So they're just to go in either baby's drawers or um, just in the nursery to make her room smell nice. And then she's got a little bottle of mohair conditioner to keep her hair nice and soft and silky. And of course her little bottle of baby powder so she can sprinkle that on her clothes to make her smell even more baby-like. And I've got these gorgeous little purple bags, Ziploc sort of airlock, airlock bags. Um, I'll just put the mohair conditioner in that just in case they leak. We would hate that it goes all over the doll. So that's 
her mohair conditioner and her little bottle of baby powder. And then she's got her certificate and her care instructions as well. So they're gonna go in a little Ziploc bag to keep them nice and protected and flat. Just like that. And in here I'm gonna put her little baby wafer and her little friendship bracelet. I'm gonna pop in her charm and her little hair accessories in there as well so they won't get lost. And she's also gonna go home with a little birth announcement card. So I'm just gonna leave that blank for her mum to write in there um, the details that she'd like to add. So I'll leave that there for her mum to fill in. And also in the Ziploc, I'll pop in her order details as well. So she's got a copy of that. Okay. And then she's also going home with this gorgeous blanket that my mother-in-law made. So she does beautiful embroidery work. So I've chosen a little teddy bear to go with Atlas. And it's got the gorgeous little sort of bobbly fabric underneath. Now, I don't know what this is called. If you guys know, drop a comment in the comments bar and um, let me know. So she's gonna be wrapped up in that. And then of course, she's gonna go home with some nappies. So I've chosen a few different designs. So these ones have got little turtles on them. And then I've got ones with little animal print on them. So they're little monkeys and rabbits. And of course the Winnie the Pooh one as well. And the little baby print on that one so she can change her up as she pleases. So I'll wrap up her clothing. Actually I'll pop all of her a little bag for her teething ring. So that's that. And we've got her little headband. Put that in there. And her dummy chain. I'll slip in there as well. And then she's also gonna go home with this gorgeous little crown that I found. So it's just a little prop that her mum can sort of sit on her head uh, when she's displaying her. So I've got some bubble wrap to wrap that in so it doesn't break. Just nice and gently. little crown. Now to wrap up her clothing I've got some gorgeous teddy bear paper. So we'll start off with her grow suit on the bottom. And she's got her little bodysuit, her little ruffle pants, and then she's got her Winnie the Pooh bib and then her mittens and her little socks. Just like that. So there's her little clothing pack. And I've got some little yellow ribbon just to tie around that, just to make it all nice and pretty. So we'll go that way. Okay, there we 
go. So that's her clothing pack all done. Now I'll pop in her belly plate in the box. I've just got to wrap that up with some nice soft tissue paper. So that will go in as well. She's also got this gorgeous little teddy that she's going to go home with. I thought would match the wrapping paper. So she's going to go home with a little friend. So we'll wrap up Atlas now in her blanket. So I'm going to put the little bobbly bits on the inside. Is all nice and flat. Okay. Okay, so wrap up. Cover her little head. Just like that. And there she's all wrapped up. And to hold her blanket in place, a little bit of stripy ribbon. Okay, so just like that. So she's all ready for her box. I've got all of her other little goodies all ready, so we'll clear the space, we'll grab her box and we will start to pack her in. So back in a minute guys. Hey guys, it's Nikki from Still Moments Nursery. Are you wanting to bring a reborn doll into your home? I have many fully completed reborn dolls available. I also offer custom order reborn dolls in which you can keep the price of the doll within your budget by selecting exactly what you want your doll to have. There are also Rebate Reborn dolls available of some of my most popular sold dolls. Thanks for watching and now it's back to the show. Okay guys, so we're back and we've got her box all lined with some nice orange tissue paper. So we'll start packing her in with all of her goodies and uh, see how she fits. So we'll start off with Baby Atlas. I'm going to pop her just on a diagonal like that. Now I'm going to pop in her nappies. What I like to do with these is just, just sit them around her head. Just acts like a little bit of a cushion. And around her little toes. Just like that. That helps to hold her in place as well. And we'll pop in her other nappies sort of just down the sides, just like that. I might pop one over her feet. Okay, and then we've got her clothing pack. I'll slip that just there. And I'll put in her little teddy bear. And I'll pop that up there and lie beside her. Just like that. Now with her belly plate, just got some nice yellow tissue paper with a little bit of soft paper towel. So I'm just going to wrap up her belly plate. Just like that, so it's nice and protected. I'll slip that down the side of her, just like that. And she's also got her, her baby powder and her mohair conditioner. I'll slip the baby powder down there. And a little bottle of mohair conditioner 
and slip just like that. Now her little crown that we don't want to get broken, so I'm going to slip that down so just there. She's got her teething ring. She's got her little headband and her dummy clip. Slip those down. It's that back wall there. And she's got her display dummy, which is nice soft silicon. And I might actually pop that just there like that. And then of course her certificate care instructions, uh, her clips and all of our other little goodies in there. Now I want that to stay nice and flat. So I'm actually gonna slip that down the side just like that. So I've got a little bit more room here, so I'll pop in some more nappies for her mum uh, to hold all of her other little goodies in place. Um, and then she will be packed and posted off home. She's going to stay in Australia, which is nice, so she hasn't got a long trip to go. I wish her a safe journey home, guys. Uh, thanks for watching the video, and thanks for all your nice comments regarding uh, my mum's passing. So uh, it was nice to read all of your comments, guys. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.